I'm starting off with a little bit of a selfish question here because Olivia, I was reading about your tattoos and I might be on the hunt for a new one. So can you tell our viewers about the two super cool horror movie tattoos you have? And then if you had to get another one, what would it be? Here, I have one that's, um, that I have actually with McCabe who stars in 1978. And we really bonded over our love of the movie American Psycho. And so a couple months ago, we got American Psycho matching tattoos. And mine says bone and his says meat from when he's filling out the crossword puzzle. Um, And we were like, this is funny. This is how we became friends. Uh, We've got sweet matching American Psycho tattoos. (laughs) And then I've got a 237 tattoo on my, like below my ankle that I gave myself via stick and poke um, for The Shining because that's the hotel room and that's one of my favorite movies. So I have a little self-done shining tattoo. And then if I had to get another one horror related, I don't know, maybe I'd get a Texas Chainsaw one because that in my opinion is a perfect movie. And also I'm from Texas and have been to those filming locations before. What? So mm, yeah, like the gas station and stuff. Oh my goodness. <laughs> oh yeah. You bet I've been. <laughs> you oh, yeah. bet I did hard time out of my that, life honestly. to go do that. I don't even know why I'm shocked. As an especially big horror fan, was there any specific horror movie that isn't overtly referenced in these three films that you still found yourself channeling when playing either Sam or uh, Hannah? Oh, I feel like a movie that I watched a few times for um, a, uh, an element of of the, the first and second movie was Possession from 1981. And um, yeah, that's a movie that I kind of referenced for myself and my like own performance as Sam. And that like Lee and I, the director talked about um, a lot in making some choices for things that come about later in the, in the series, but yeah. We're running this after 1994 is available. So you are safe. You are Great. safe. Okay, so the end of 1994, um, I watched Possession, as you can tell from the title for you know my my performance of being possessed Sam yes which is pretty fun all right after what I just said Kian I'm gonna like tiptoe into 1666 spoilers but I don't want to go there <laughs> but I do have to ask you about making the transition from 94 to that film because it's not every day that you know you get to see someone play two main characters in two different films that are connected and filming back to back so given that production process what is one pro that you think enhanced your work because of the way they were shot and then What's, I guess, a con or a challenge that you had to overcome? Both characters that I played are very strong. They have an inner strength and an inner fight in them. So I feel like filming 1994 and really getting to dive into how, how much Dina cares and that how strong she really is, and then leading into 1666, it was just a perfect way to lead into my 1666 character, knowing that I have that strength in me as well as Kiana and I can bring it to this character as well. The challenge is, was definitely the fact that I'm human (laughs) and I was tired sometimes, you know, sometimes I was like, I would get back to the hotel after rapping and I was like, wow, I really thought that I could just like go through this and feel completely energized the whole time. But there were definitely some days where I was like, I feel like I want to sleep for 20 hours (laughs) because the the roles were very demanding physically, emotionally, spiritually, you know, in so many ways. So that was definitely a challenge. Can 100% understand that. So Benji, I was reading about how you were kind of the one who cracked the code with a key shot at the very end of 1994, you figured out the blocking. So it made me wonder, do you have any interest in getting behind the camera yourself? Uh, Eventually. Eventually, somewhere down the line, I feel like I still got to build that muscle. Uh, But eventually, for sure, I know I got the eye for it. When the time comes, is there anything that you saw Lee do on these films that you are going to back pocket and apply on your own stuff? Um, I love the way there's definitely a camera angle. But like uh, more than that, it's just the way that she directs. Like, I love the fact that Lee doesn't move on until she's completely satisfied Mm -hmm. because that's the only way you can make something good. You can't just, you know, Oh, I think it's all right. Let's just move on for the sake of time. Like screw the sake of time right now. If we're making something at the best level we can, like, so that's what I really, uh, 
enjoy. And I took uh, from Lee that I will back pocket for sure. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. All right, Olivia, Kiana, I have one coming at both of you right now. So whoever wants to jump in first, feel free. But I love asking about the value of a scene partner. And I know you two are exceptionally talented all on your own, but there's something about working opposite someone else that can bring something out of you that maybe you couldn't bring out of yourself. So what is one thing that the other did on the set of either film that, you know, made all the difference for you and you wish you saw more out there? Mm. I think just the amount that we talked, like the days um, that we had to do, like like the monologue in the chemistry room, or the or the the overdose scene at the ho- or at the grocery store. Like there was so much communication between us on those days, where it was like literally like, what do you need right now? Like the camera's on you. Like what yeah. do you need from me, and vice versa. And I just feel like we talked so much about those things. And then like, as it went on, like it got so much easier to talk about those things as the filming went on. And then it just became like second nature to like be really, really communicate in those times. Mm -hmm. I feel like what was special about working with Olivia was um, how you really held space for me. I feel, you know, a lot of times when you're in a scene with someone and it's not their coverage and vice versa, you kind of, you don't, you don't give it 100% or you're not really as present in the scene with them. But I feel like we both held so much space for each other Mm -hmm. so that we could, we were really listening to each other. We're really attentive to each other's needs. And I Mm -hmm. really think that that was the same for our characters as well. You know, our characters cared so much about what each other needed. And that was something that I feel like you gave me as an, as an actor and I really yeah, appreciated same. that. Yeah, I'm like it was great working you know, with you. you were it was really good. I feel <laughs> it when I watch the movie. I'm just going to say this because I don't think I'm allowed to say anything about the second two, but 94 is officially one of my favorite movies of 2021. You guys are oh, so good in it, you. and it just speaks to my horror sensibilities so much. So huge thank congratulations. You. Thank, and you. thank you for this delightful 90s slasher movie. Oh, thank, thank you. you. Oh, that's so awesome.